There's a secret to getting strong and flexible that isn't talked about very much. Even if you train your body for an hour a day, seven days a week, that's still only seven hours in a 168 hour week. But we're all busy, so putting more hours into the gym isn't necessarily the answer. The key is finding simple ways to work on something throughout the day in small chunks of time. We call them movement snacks. But if you wanna to work towards a goal, it has to be planned. You have to know what you're gonna do and when you're gonna do it. And there has to be minimal resistance to doing it. So having the equipment and the space readily available is a must. All right, here's an example. Say I wanna get better at pull-ups. Maybe I want bigger biceps, a wider back. I wanna get my first muscle up, or I just wanna feel stronger when I'm climbing. Conventional wisdom would say, let's do three sets of eight to 10 pull-ups one day. Maybe another day I do weighted pull-ups. That's definitely good programming. But I find another way very interesting. What if I try to work pull-ups into my daily routine so it doesn't take a full gym session? First, I need something to do pull-ups on that's easily accessible. Remember, we want less resistance to doing it. Next, I need to plan a time that I'm actually gonna do them. I could choose to do them before every meal with my morning coffee. I could set up a two-hour interval timer while I'm working. The point is to get creative and figure out what works best in your life and makes it fun. Because I'm doing pull-ups every day, I wanna keep the intensity down. I don't wanna blast myself with 10 reps if 10 reps is my max. I'll keep it at five or six. Sometimes less is more and simpler is better. This isn't about getting a full training session in. It's just a reminder for your body that this is important. So whatever your goal is, you can create a plan that allows you to work on it all day in small doses. And remember, your body body adapts to what it does regularly. So remind it as often as possible what you want it to be able to do and how you want it to feel. I'm guessing you wanna feel more open and flexible in your body. The idea of ergonomics tells us that we can sit or stand in the right positions and that's okay for our body, but we think that's BS. The best way to keep your body open and feeling good is to keep moving throughout the day, even while you're working. Here's some ideas on how you can set up your workspace to promote more movement and open up those parts of the body that traditionally get stiff throughout a workday. The simplest one is having something soft to kneel on. Now, hip flexors get tight when you sit all day. So switching to kneeling once in a while allows you to open up the hip flexors and you can wiggle your hips around. It allows you to move as you need to, to feel comfortable and switch sides when one knee gets tired. Standing is a good alternative to sitting, but standing on two feet all day can still make the back achy. So one way that you can counteract that is having something nice and high to put your foot up on. Now while I'm working, I can again stretch my hip flexors, but also I can stretch my groins, I can stretch my hamstrings, all while I'm sitting here working. One of the best ways to get more flexible is to sit on the floor. Having a floor sitting setup can allow you to sit on the floor all day to get more flexible while you're working. Now this thing was only like 50 bucks and I use it every day. All you need is something to set your computer on or whatever you're working on and a floor sitting pillow. And now I can sit cross-legged, I can sit in a straddle, I can sit in a squat. And the cool thing about working from the floor is no position will ever be too comfortable. So you have to keep moving all day. This last one I like to call hand grind your coffee. In our society, we figured out so many ways to make things more comfortable and easy. But comfort and ease come at a cost, often to our bodies. So. This can quite literally mean hand grind your coffee instead of using an electric grinder. But metaphorically, it means finding seemingly small, insignificant ways that you can promote more movement in your life. Instead of placing your clean laundry on the bed and folding it, do it all on the floor. When you brush your teeth, sit in a squat. Take the stairs, walk or ride your bike to the grocery store, you get it. But it's these small decisions that make a huge difference. And without these, you can easily slide into a life of laziness, comfort and acting on every impulse. When I played basketball in high school and college, I played every day and I got pretty good because of it. Good surfers surf most days. Good runners run most days. But our society has adopted a bodybuilding mentality where we crush one muscle group and then we don't touch it for another week. The body adapts to what we do most frequently. So give it the inputs to match your goals. I was first introduced to these ideas through the book Move Your DNA by Katie Bowman. And if you want a deeper dive, I highly suggest checking it out. Tell us, what do you do every day? Comment below. Later.